cool to be a geek. I mean, for you mean for chicks too? Yeah, chicks. I are mean, not. It's it doesn't mean the same thing now. It's like you know. No, oh, well, it's yeah, it's not. You mean like compared to like Revenge of the Nerd years? Is that what you're comparing it to? Like, of course, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, definitely. It's definitely changed. Big like time. geeking out is doesn't give the same kind of feeling or the same kind of vibe or right or the same impression. You know, it used to be you people you know think of you know somebody you think of a, a frail pimply faced teenager you know banging away on a keyboard in his mom's basement at thirty five years old. Yeah, that was us like four years ago. Yeah, well, <laughs> I have actually said to some older people like in I've met or something like. I've called myself a geek, and they go, "Oh no, you're not!" Like, I like they think I'm like, insulting myself, like self degrading. Yeah. I'm like, "No, I didn't mean it like that." Like, I'm a geek. But, I like I like I like I like electronics. I like technology, but they took it to mean like I'm insulting myself. So, yeah, it has definitely is changing. <clears throat> cool. That's a, that's a really well put together video. Like, it, it's worth watching. Yeah, it's from Beatdown Boogie on YouTube. It's Dragon Con 2011. Um, really, uh. It's actually pretty good. Professionally made, it seems like. Yes. And when when CES? Uh, January, beginning of January. Oh man, that would be a lot of fun, dude. You That's should come. Vegas certainly would be. You should come, and we're gonna. I want to go to a lot of Linux Fest next year too, because they're supposed to be amazing, and um, set up a little Podnuts booth and such. All right. Um, Steve went. Liam just went. Back to Chris. Oh wait, no. That's it. Let's do a. Uh, Emails, and then we'll do what do you like, what don't you like. Oh, I see. The host doesn't have to bring anything that round. That round, though. We don't have time. It's like already an hour. <laughs> he's, bringing the, he's bringing the emails. You guys are really giving Plus, it to me. Last, on that Android app addicts, they're telling me I don't have any apps. You know what? I, you know what? He, he brought up the most important thing, the three of us. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and I don't want to hear about another damn mosquito either, so let's just move on. Thanks. All right. Door says uh, in a Google Plus stream... This is the total opposite of the vids slash stories that have negativity that some people bring to nuts at night. <laughs> <laughs> By some people, I think you mean Steve. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the visually impaired uh, person playing Zelda. We already saw that. So I, uh, that's yes. from last week. That Here, was impressive. Yes. Um, this is from Wilbur Bear and a wimp.com video, NASA satellite. What? Yes. Believe it. Do you believe Wimp? it? Um, what the heck is this? Let's play this from the beginning. I don't get it. Oh, there was a, there was a satellite. Oh, that... NASA satellite fail, falls on car. Oh, they just yeah. pretend. Oh, well, they, this was actually, it was actually a true story. True story. There was a satellite that fell somewhere. I don't remember where. Oh my god, are you okay? Look at the, because that lady asked him to look after her, her car, and now she's going to come back and be a satellite in it. <laughs> <laughs> Satellite of it. This is NASA in vinyl letters. <laughs> That's That's <pretty> awesome. <laughs> it's such a it's fake a looking satellite. It's a ball. It, is. it yeah. looks like Sputnik with NASA written on it, an American flag. It's like a giant Sputnik. I love those lady takes a picture with her flip phone. I would. Me too. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay, that's secret good. service. <laughs> We're gonna need your phone, ma'am. <laughs> this is awesome. What a great gag. Look at that kid. Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> they said, quiet, don't tell anybody. And now the person that owner of the car is going to come back for sure. We know where you live. Don't tell what the anyone. What did you do to my car? Oh, she told her, don't tell anybody. Ah. Uh, that's pretty good. NASA yeah, satellite cool. falls on car. Check it out at wimp.com. Good one, Wilbur. I like that one. All right. Another one from Wilbur from wimp.com. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a time-lapse painting without a paintbrush by Amy Shackleton. 
Amy works entirely without a paintbrush. And what is she using in its place? I can't tell. Hands or things? She's basically uh, doing a pretty nice damn painting. No she's brush. Using, she's, what she's doing is using squeeze bottles. Oh, and yeah, she's, she's letting squeeze it drip bottles. down. Ah. I caught it there. Yeah, and then what she does is she just lets it run. And then she's, it's on like a, looks like it's on some kind of like swivel device. So the, um, so she tilts the painting, like, and then lets it go down. Oh, look, she's got a little string thing. Yeah, a piece of string, yeah. Wow, that's a cool painting. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I wish I had. That is called showing off. And is not oh. polite. <laughs> I wish I had time <laughs> to do stuff like this. Yeah, I wish I had talent. Wow, I like the one on the right. That's killer. Yeah, that's my, killer. I want to buy I wish I had that. talent like that too. I mean, my only talents are uh, discovering hard drives, brand new hard drives um, that are bad. Yeah, yeah tell, hard us, drive tell us about adapters. that. I got another one today, by the way. I'll talk about that. Check it out, guys. Um, Amy, don't know what her last name is. S. Shackleton uh, does these cool paintings. On wimp.com. It's uh, wimp.com forward slash without brush. Uh, oh, sorry, Eric. And the last one was, uh, I don't know. Anyway, for the Nuts at Night page. Uh, thank you, Wilbur. This next one is from Ron says, you can have anybody's face when you podcast. This is the most freaky video ever. It's on Vimeo.com. It's ba I looked. I watched this. It's ba called face substitution. They're working on this idea uh, where you could like basically take a picture of a celebrity and it will meld your your face into that of theirs. Yeah, this is something they were working on for Blu-ray. Really? Oh, so you can put yeah. yourself in movies? Right. It's weird. Oh, well, that's creepy. Isn't that freaky? Brad Pitt. He doesn't look like a good Brad Pitt. But he looks different than himself. You tell something's going on. That's freaky. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah, this is really bizarre. It's this guy's face, and it's just changing ever so slightly. Yeah, this is uh, Vimeo.com forward slash 293-48533. Uh, kind of oh, looks like he got acid ones. thrown on his face. Yeah. Well, that was Michael Jackson. Right. Interesting. It, it makes his face change, but not his hair. His hair stays the same. That's, oh, that really does weird. not look like a... Look at, <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> Barack Obama. But it doesn't look like... Like, I wouldn't look at his face and say, that's Barack, you know? Paris Hilton. I'm not a big fan of when he puts the girl faces in there. Yeah, no. that's All right. <laughs> it's kind of ruins it. Yeah, it's Vimeo.com. Title of the video is Face Substitution. Vimeo.com forward slash two nine three four five no two nine three four eight five three three, and uh, he said Ron says thank you for continuing the show. Um, this software is built on open source tools, so we're hoping to compile to run the copy here in the office and distort ourselves at least as horribly as Kyle McDonald does here. But until then, can't stop staring at the videos. Awesome. So he's does Ron work there? No, he just works. He just uses it in his office. Cool. Thanks, Ron. All right, this is from Door to Door Geek. He says, I want this. And it's a link from Dustin Bursley in the Google Plus stream of a video called New called New Full Scale Electric Tron Light Cycle Parker Brothers uh, Choppers. Yeah, that was cool. So it's basically a motorcycle that is the Tron, like the Tron bikes in the movie, but for real. Oh that my gosh. That is very cool. It and does geeky. seem to go extremely slow, however. Yeah, and it seems very unwieldy to like get on it and ride it. And... Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Could you imagine pulling up somewhere in that thing? That's a Best Buy. Yeah. That yeah. is so awesome. That is very cool. Wow, that is really cool looking. You guys gotta check the this out. The best part is the wheels. You can just, they're totally hollow. Like you can see right through them. So cool. See? Check it out. It looks just like in the movie. I didn't see the movie. Is it exactly the same? 
it looks a lot like it, yeah. And it lights up just like it and everything. It really looks like they pull it off the set. But I mean, I think it was all fake, like CGI in the movie. It's all glass looking. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really and well it done. it lights up. Yeah, wow. That's amazing. They also have a red one. If you watch the end of the video, there's a red one in the background. I love how people walk by it like it's nothing. I know. I would not walk by past that. I know. That guy takes a picture with his iPhone. Where's the red one? Let's go to the red one. It's gonna be back behind him. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. I can't believe you can drive it too. Wow. It's one thing to have one, but I mean, to actually drive it up to places, <laughs> that's yeah. incredible. Very cool. Don't crash that thing. No. <laughs> well, thank you, Door, for posting that in Google+, and thank you, Dustin Bursley, for posting that to Door. Awesome. What it needs is a big, like, 60-foot blue, like, 3-foot wide ribbon that it just drags behind it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> The next one is from Ron B. It is the evil floppy drives that Steve D already played, but we got to give Ron <laughs> Ron B some credit for bringing it as well. Evil? They're evil? As he said, it's e and this one it's evil floppy drives. Yeah, that's the the Imperial March. Yeah, I think so. Um, this one is from Lanity. Love your program, all of them. I just wanted to tell you, I finally get Chris. At first, I found him annoying. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I found him annoying, but he grows on you. Um, tell him not to worry. I won't try and follow him. I laughed so hard when he talked about his printer and then finding out that he hated to purchase ink. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you buy an $800 printer that uses ink. That's, that's, not a, that's not a laser jet. <laughs> that was laser. That's great. Um, you guys do a great job dispensing tech and humor. Oh, he said, I had to hold my mouth as to not laugh out loud at work. You guys do a great job <laughs> dispensing tech and humor. I love the Steve duo. Keep podcasting. One last thing. Of course, I had never heard of planking. I'm 60. Give me a break. <laughs> but I saw this on The Office. Dwight knows how to handle plankers. I thought you would enjoy it if you haven't seen it. Have you guys seen this uh, planking on the office? I think so, let's see. The audio is really low. But... Say no more. I mean, non-existent on our end. You, yeah, you don't hear it. <laughs> no, we hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, don't try planking. It's dangerous. <laughs> this has got to be like a webisode or something, right? I'm not sure. No, it's, it's the beginning. It's the beginning of a show. Uh, There's planking. All right, we're rolling through the emails here. Let um, me do a couple more here, and we'll, we'll do what do you like, what don't you like. This is from Ray. Hey, Steve, those guys in the video, the Carlsberg. Remember the Carlsberg beer, beer video with the bikers? Those guys yeah. in that video look like my friends. I'm here to tell you, from coast to coast, they are not drinking Carlsberg. Carlsberg is trying to get a piece of the action. Good for them. Great commercial. I ride with some scary-looking bikers at times. We will stop in a bar and leave if Bud is not available. I'm not kidding. These guys are some of the nicest guys. They work hard, and they play hard, and they drink Bud. Uh, they are some of the first to come to a sick child's aid with a charity ride or support someone's family if they're hurt or killed. Don't be afraid of these guys. They're actually watching out for you. Don't mess with their bikes or their Bud. I gave up drinking a long time ago, so my Harley only runs on gas now. Great show. Thanks, guys. It's from Ray. That's cool. Yeah, I, you know, I don't have too many, like, biker friends, to be honest, but um, from my, any encounter I've had with them, nice guys. And, you you know, you could be, like, kind of, um, you know, put like, you were, get a little intimidated by how some of them look, but uh, I, I they've always They've always sold me really good stuff. Yeah? <laughs> 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 nice, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the email, Ray. This is from uh, Wimp.com from Wilbur. Meanwhile, Russia. I don't think I've seen this one. I just whenever I see Wilbur, I just put it in the nuts at night queue. Oh no, this is awesome. Meanwhile, in Russia. So this is. I think this is in Russia. I love this. 